<laughs> hey everyone, uh, stopping for dinner, <laughs> making a little uh, eggplant dish here. Yeah, Looks I said good. to go cheese pie. Aisha. Anyway, well my place is a mess, but no one's going to see that. Uh, been painting like crazy. Hummingbird feeder. Hummingbirds are good. In good shape. Oh, I got a new, uh, I got a new saw. Come on, focus. Still focusing. There we go. I got a new saw. This is called a uh, radial arm saw. Got it in one of my auctions for super cheap. $37. I think I'll do uh, compound angles and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, hold on to that for now. Kind of. Filling out my uh, filling out my little room in here. Got a bunch of those. <sighs> Gonna go in the porch. Haven't touched the inside of the porch because I'm calling out outside the house. But here we are. I have painted. Uh, the ceiling is white. Um, the idea is to make the room look bigger than it really is. And then I did a light blue. I don't know how color is showing up on this thing. Here's my headlamp. That might blow it out a little bit too much. But it is definitely a blue. I was going for a light blue. I wanted something pleasant. Um, you know, uplifting. I still have to uh, stain these shelves. Um, the windows need some attention, like right inside the windows, but uh, Everything else is looking pretty good. So that's the stone on the floor. I had the floor taped up for a long time. It was all covered. Um, I took the tape off the pass-through today. I got my, uh, got my countertop I made here with Ben. I'm trying to do a little super glue repair on the corner here. It got a little mucked up and it seems to be working. The heater, uh, it's kind of, I didn't paint the heater, I just left it. Um, it's kind of uh, off-white, whereas the ceiling and the molding around the floor is like a brilliant bleach white, just like the window frames. So I might paint that, I might paint that blue, same blue as the walls. I moved the thermostat over here, and I painted it blue, the same color as the wall, and I thought that looked pretty good, actually. So. Might stick with that. <clears throat> um, so that would be another project. Um, haven't swept or anything yet. Uh, floor is still super dirty. Here is the uh, the bedroom. It's called Squirrel Tail Brown. Uh, it's going for like a more warmer, darker earth tone in here. I wanted it to be very relaxing. Um, real happy with the bedroom here. <clears throat> Again, white molding. I wanted the molding on the top and the bottom to match. Uh, my shroud and my fan didn't make it, but he's uh, still working great. Um, you know, like this. I broke this off. So if you wanted to on the weight, push down on that screw. <laughs> very, very redneck Matthew. Then here's the uh, closet. I still have to put that on. Um, the closet is actually a light beige. It's not the brilliant bleach white. So this is the only place in the house where the molding is not um, like the same white as that. But it's a closet and the lights are going to be down. Um, new light fixture. I just installed that. I'm real happy with the light fixture in there. Uh, took me a while to find those, but I'm, I'm loving them. So yeah, next up are the uh, the doors for the shelves, and then all of the, the drawers down here on both sides. That'll be uh, that'll be my day tomorrow. But it's it's all coming together. I think here I'm gonna put in because uh, this looks right to the outside. Yeah, it's not good. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna put a stained glass window in here eventually. But for now, I'll just put up some privacy glass. Um, I still got to go through and do uh, like all the touch up paint. You know, because like. You know, stupid little stuff like this, but that'll be, you know, an afternoon. Just go around. The walls were a real pain in the ass because they're so textured. I mean, look at that. That's insane. 
Um, so trying to tape off stuff with that much texture on it, I mean, there, there's just no way you couldn't you couldn't get a good seal on that all the way through. So, um, but you know, this is all getting to be minor stuff, and the basics are there. So, really in love with the um, really in love with the bedroom. Um, bathroom is a gray. This is a shade of gray. I already have to wipe this off. Um, this has a this has a door on it, and this has a door on it. You all know what that is. Um, so I think I, I bought some black paint to paint um, another. I, I bought a safe, and I painted it. And uh, I think when I put up this door and this door, I'm gonna mix this paint into the into the spray gun with uh, some of the black to darken it. And then these two doors would be a little bit darker. Um, you know, there was some overspray. Learning about overspray, but this is like super impervious. You know, shower bedrock stuff. Um, I'm gonna replace the shower head. The bathtub needs to be clean and probably reglazed. Um, the floor, I'm probably gonna keep the floor for now, but eventually I'll put in a similar tile. Um, my new sink is gonna go here. I guess I can probably take all that stuff off the toilet. Um, painted this guy. <laughs> I mean, it was brass. It's awful looking. Anyway, that's looking a little bit better. So, uh, same thing with this window. I'm gonna um, put up new privacy stuff on it, so I'll just peel that off and I'm, I'm good. Yeah, and then uh, I did, I went for a yellow for the, the kitchen and the front, what I call the front room, and the, this little strange hallway right here. Um, I picked yellow because this tile is yellow, and so I picked a similar, a similar yellow. That, that kind of blows it out a little bit. That, that saturation come in. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little hard to see on this video, but the yellow is a little bit lighter than the yellow here. This is a little bit, a little bit darker. Um, painted it. I really liked it when I was when I was painting it, but now it looks, it's very yellow. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, it kind of looks like a candy house to me right now because we got, you know, light blue in here and uh, yellow in here. I also think I'm just used to seeing it white the whole time. Um, but, you know, the yellow is supposed to look like kind of a warm, inviting color. People are going to be cooking here. It's a semi-gloss. You can see the reflection here. This is another one of those new light fixers I installed. Love it. Oh, I guess I can take that paper out of there. Oh, I guess I'm done. That's, that's the kind of thing I would totally forget about. There we go. Well, if I turn on the fan... Oh, hi, Mr. Fan. Mr. Fan works. Great. And trash. Um, here's my paint gun. I got a lot of use out of the damn paint gun. Holy cow. It's a you know, high volume, low pressure um, paint can. Whew. Um... Uh, this is the original light fixture in the house, um, installed him again, cleaned it, painted the base. Uh, that's a new grate, I just installed that today. Uh, behind there, you can't really see it, but I put in a house fan that's on a thermostat that turns itself on if it gets to be 80, some 85 degrees up there. I'm really glad I did that because it gets hot up there. It does turn itself on, it does turn itself off. Um, the floor in here is a linoleum. It's filthy right now. Um, I think I'm gonna, just as a practical matter, I think I'm gonna keep this for now, but eventually I wanna replace um, the linoleum here. Uh, this countertop I'm not crazy about. I'll probably go tile in the future on the countertop. Um, but it is, it is like coming together. Again, just like some spots, uh, some little spots to hit, like right here. That's some paint drips, I just curved those off today. Um, but I mean like the basics of it are done on oh, this little fly. Oh, little bastard. Um, oh, the light in here is giving me some grief. I might have to pull new electricity for that. But um, this is what I'm going for in here. A little bit of white. Uh, that watchmaker's desk is going to go here. Refrigerator. Um, the uh, microwave is going to go here. I've got all the doors to put up still. Um, you know, little, little, some little touch-ups on the door to do, but 
Um, really, it's it is like coming together. I think this um, this right here, I'm gonna paint the same color that I paint uh, the deck with, which would be an outdoor paint, because that's gonna get stepped on a lot and really abused. Um, yeah, but man, it is coming together. Uh, real, real happy about the progress right now. I'm going completely crazy just trying to fix every little spot on the walls. And if you walk around the house, there's still, still things that you could fix. But you know what? It's an, it's a 30s house. It's funky, and I'm glad, uh, I'm glad this is where the house is right now. I probably need to hit some of these with a little more yellow. Um, they're also behind doors, and I, you know, I don't want to overdo it. Um, this is one of the new light fixtures I got. I got this from a guy on Facebook Marketplace. I got two of them. This and the, this is the same one as the one in the bedroom. They're vintage. They're at least 50s. They might be older than that. Um, the guy's house was from the uh, 30s that he took it out there. Yeah, so that's what it's going to look like. Which is um, the same era as this house. And I got two light fixtures for, I think, 50 bucks. Pretty good. I've been shopping a lot on Facebook Marketplace, surprisingly. Um, yeah, that thing's being a real pain in the ass. I got a weird electric electrical issue going on. There's a light switch for it. The other switch is for a uh, light outside. Anyway, another trip to Home Depot in my future. Um, yeah, now it's like time to get to all the doors, things outside. Let's sit here today. Yeah, so these things I primered already a long time ago with the old primer. Um, the first primer I put on was not super high quality, so I'm going to put a better primer on. Well, I did, I ended up uh, putting two coats of primer on, which is way overkill, but I should have just got the expensive stuff to begin with. Um, here's the current backyard. Fire department came and left me a notice that I had to clean up the place, so I cleaned up the place. Um, got an automatic uh, watering system going right now. I'll do some landscaping at a much later date, um, but all my plants seem to, be, seem to be doing good. The neighbors gave me this, the Canadians next door. It's a banana palm, and it is growing very nicely. Uh, it's a female. If I get a male banana palm, I will eventually get um, bananas, which I think is hilarious, which I totally plan on doing. Someone comes in here and eats them. I don't know what kind of bug is doing that. But it's it is growing leaves. The leaves the leaves grow out of the middle here, and these are the new ones. And then it folds out, and then the next one goes. So then I got something in the ground here, some little critters in the ground. Hope they didn't follow me from Deep Creek. Yeah. So uh, house is house is coming along, guys. Um, and then it'll be onto the outside of the house. But I've learned a lot about using the spray gun and different techniques and things, and I think I can knock out the outside of the house pretty fast. Yeah. And so, this is my uh, new camcorder I used for the Alaska trip with Dad and Ben. And, uh, things are good. Things are good. It's finally starting to look better instead of looking worse, because this whole time I've only made things look worse and worse and worse. But now it's starting to get better. You know, this little, this little guy's leaking water. I need a new water heater. Well, I'm shopping. Um, I think I showed you guys this already. My, uh, my sink. Real happy to put the sink in there. I had to build a podium for it to make it a little taller. And that will be in the next video. So, um, there's the house. It's turning into a real house. Gonna put a vintage stove here, white. I'm gonna go white with the appliances. I wasn't sure about the blue when I first put it up, but the blue is really growing on me, actually. And I think I'm just, I think the yellow in the kitchen will, I'll get used to it. I'm just so used to seeing it white. Yeah, so the house is really coming along. I'm really happy with it. And um, I love installing the, the light fixtures. Because I've been using these, uh, you know, work lights for so long, just having a regular light switch. And then, um, you know, I have to put up uh, drapes, you know, furniture, a couple throw rugs, and then I am rocking and rolling. So, hope everyone is good, and uh, that's the house update with Matthew.
Bye.